What is up, y'all? It's your boy. It's a two-minute warning presented by Blade Knuckle Show. Mr. Ari himself here to talk a little bit about social gloves. I'm going to get more into it. But this video more is for the main event because I got to say that athletic background came through. And uh, personally, I enjoyed the hell out of it. I don't know much about Austin McBroom. I don't know much about most of these guys. I think Gibb got robbed. 100%. I don't know how Taylor Holder can even say he was close. I mean, dude, take that L and say, yo, let's run it back. These, Let's do it three rounds. Let's make it right. But because Taylor Holder, I think, is m more prepared for a three-round fight, as in Gibb, him going forward and throwing those wild shots is more made for those two-minute rounds. But anyway, going to that main event, it was just pure... A guy who didn't know how to fight in Bryce Hall at all. Um, the Stromedy footage, I think, showed that. He's all muscle. I don't even think he's probably that good of a wrestler. I think he's all talk. He's all bullshit. I'm at Graham's house right now, baby. Barbecue coming up. You know how we do it. But I got to say, Austin McBroom is an athlete. Here is the point of this video. First off, big ups to Austin McBroom. But if Austin McBroom trained for three years and put the money behind his training that Logan Paul does, maybe even Jake Paul, I believe Austin McBroom at the least could go eight rounds with Logan Paul or maybe even beat Logan Paul. Logan Paul wants to take victories by going eight rounds. Austin McBroom, I'm saying it right now, with the same amount of training, good training partners, putting the money into it, being dedicated, getting to a weight class where they're close to even, Austin McBroom would beat slow, lethargic Logan Paul. Boom, I said it here. Fuck the Paul brothers. I hope Nate Diaz runs up on you, Jake Paul, when you don't have your little security around. You call out another fighter after a loss. You're so disrespectful when it comes to fighting. Nate Diaz is a warrior. He's the kind of guy he was not going to stop when he sees you. So you better hope you have those Israel commandos around you when you run into Nate Diaz, if you do, because he will beat the living shit out of you. One day, one of these MMA fighters are going to catch you in a corner and it ain't going to be pretty. I can't wait for you to get knocked out so you're desperate and you have to get in that MMA ring and you see what real fighting is about because you are fighting in a limited skill set, you little bitch boy who is losing his hair, faggot ass, er, er, fat ass motherfucker ain't training shit. Let me reverse that. Um, don't want to get canceled. You know, I'm talking, I'm talking fight talk, y'all. That just means, that just means punk. Um, Jake Paul's a punk ass bitch. Logan Paul, I'm cool with whatever. Mike Malik made impulsive. So not having him on there makes the show boring. Logan Paul's a boring personality. He doesn't belong in boxing. He's not, he's not a good boxer. Austin McBroom could probably beat him. And, um, he should stick to dealing fake Pokemons and ripping off his fans. Social gloves. Peace, y'all.